Metal Gear Solid VR Missions is one of the most underrated Metal Gear games. I'm not one that thinks the original Metal Gear Solid is aged beautifully. A lot of my appreciation for the game revolves around giving it mental leeway due to it being the best that they could do at the time. The core gameplay isn't truly anything special, let's be real. VR Missions makes it its, well, mission to flesh out that core gameplay, and I think it does a pretty great job basically taking everything and ramping it up to 11 while keeping it still feeling like an extension of the original rather than a whole new game, as well as putting in a bunch of the goofy nonsense that the series knows too well. This truly feels like something the developers wanted to include from the start but just didn't have the time along with it being clearly too distant from the plot. To show you just how much of a hidden gem this game is, let's get deep into it. The only way to really know something after all is to experience it. That might make this video a bit tricky, because I haven't played VR missions. Have you? The following is an abridged version of Metal Gear Solid 2, Big Shell, in the form of clips with minor editing. This is meant to be the last one you should watch. So if you haven't already, watch Metal Gear Solid 3 in 70 minutes, Metal Gear Solid 1 in 2 hours, and Metal Gear Solid 2 in 13 minutes in that order before this. Abnormalities in the video are simply editing mistakes, disregard them. Apologies for the wait, but the best is yet to come. Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tanker two years ago? Of course. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The Big Shell. Approximately six hours ago, the Big Shell was seized by an armed group. Do we have an ID? Former members of the Navy SEAL Special Anti-Terrorist Training Squad Dead Cell. What are their demands? Thirty billion dollars. Thirty billion dollars? What makes them think they can get that much? There was a government-sponsored tour going on at the Big Shell that day. Hostages, huh? The most important person in a sense. The most important person? James Johnson. The President? Unless the demands are met, the terrorists intend to blow the Big Shell out of the water. And the crude will ignite, turning the Manhattan Harbor into an inferno. You have two mission objectives. One, infiltrate the offshore decontamination facility Big Shell and safeguard the President and other hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. This is Snake. I'm now inside strut A of Shell 1. There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. You are now designated Raiden. All right, Raiden. You've already covered infiltration in VR training. I've completed 300 missions in VR. I feel like some kind of legendary mercenary. There's a terminal in front of the elevator, a node. Did you say nerd? Not nerd, node. Oh. Use the node to gain access to the Big Shell's facilities network. Copy that. Moving on to main mission objectives. Jack, is everything all right? What are you doing here? Rose, you're not supposed to be involved. Meet the mission analyst. She'll be overseeing the data saving and support. And according to the files, she knows you better than anybody else. She's never been a part of a field mission. This is insane. I have my own reasons for selecting her for this mission, soldier. You're familiar with the Shadow Moses incident? You know I covered it in VR. If there's a crucial tactical detail that case taught us, it was the power of the operative's will to survive. And on the field, you need all the help you can get. Jack, you're stuck with me whether you like it or not. Rose. I prefer this to being kept in the dark waiting. I'd like to make a request, if I may. Of course. His handle is Raiden. For the duration of the mission, could you call him? I just switched frequencies. Jack? What? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? April 30th. Is there something special about it? Isn't there? I can't remember. I'm sorry. The terrorists call themselves Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty? The name of their leader is Solid Snake. The hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right. 
but he can't be the Solid Snake. He died two years ago on that tanker after he blew it sky high. an enemy. Calm down. My name is... My name is Pliskin. Iroquois Pliskin. Lieutenant Junior Grade. That suit. Are you Foxhound? That's right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? I was part of the Army's Force 21 trials. Any field experience? No, not really. So this is your first? I've had extensive training, the kind that's indistinguishable from the real thing. Like what? Sneaking mission 60, weapons 80, advanced BR, huh? But realistic in every way. A virtual grunt of the digital age, that's just great. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? What was that man just now? That blood-sucking freak? That was Vamp. He's Romanian, a wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. What is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Him? A special forces unit created by ex-president George Sears. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. But around the time their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. They were always close to the edge, but they became more and more extreme, began to go after US allies, even civilians. We estimate that no fewer than 100 people died as a result of accidents the dead cell arranged on their own. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. What about their leader? He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. The BC connecting bridge. We need to get there. Can you handle it? I need a few more minutes. Hey, what's your name? Raiden. Raiden? Strange code name. Makes up for the boring one my parents gave me. Maybe I'll find out someday. He's asleep? Liquid! Huh? <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you. Think you can shoot that thing? Jack, it's me. Do you remember what day tomorrow is? That again. I'm sorry, but I still don't have a clue. That's okay. I'd rather you figure it out. It's important. Rose, are you okay? Yes, thank you. It really scared me at first, but I think I've gotten used to it. I guess women really are strong. <laughs> not quite. It's not women that are strong. It's me. Actually, that's not true. It still scares me to death, but I'll be strong. Come, put me out of my misery. This is impossible. Nothing will hit her. Is she the one they call Fortune? Don't let them take the president. Ready grenades.
Today is another bad day. I'm so sorry, my beauties. Colonel, SEAL Team 10's Bravo team was wiped out. I see. The entire mission is in your hands now. Do you understand? The priority is now on removing those C4s that the terrorists wired over the big shell. The President can wait, but this can't. The Bravo team brought an explosives pro in with them. Understood. But I need to ask you something before I go. Make it quick. Who are they? Dead Cell, I mean. They couldn't hit her no matter how hard they tried. And that vampire, too. It's... it's like... It's like being in a nightmare you can't wake up from. Jack, snap out of it. And you, Rose. I can't believe you're on this mission. I keep thinking I'll wake up. Raiden, this is real. And that's why you won't wake up. What do you know about that strange woman? You mean Fortune? She's the Dead Cell leader. Her real name is Helena Dolph Jackson, known to her friends as Lady Luck. She got the name because bullets seemed to veer away from her in battle. People have heard her say that her fortune in battle was payback for the lousy luck she's had in life. The death of her father, the Marine Commander. The conviction of husband and Dead Cell leader, Colonel Jackson. These events were followed by her mother's suicide, the loss of a husband, and the idea of a convict in the family apparently took her over the edge. Definitely Fortune not. was three months pregnant at the time, and the shock of her mother's death led to the loss of her child. Add to this her husband's death in prison a few months later, and to sum it up, in the six months after her father's death, she lost her family and everything that mattered in her life. The thing is, she didn't grieve long. Instead, she joined the military. I heard that she firmly believed that her husband was framed. Her uncanny luck earned her a reputation that led to her appointment as the head of her husband's unit, Dead Cell. Right, what are you looking at? Oh, I see. Rosemary. What? Could you excuse him for a moment? Huh? You know, so he can... Ah, oh, I get it. Uh. Jack, um, let me know when you're done, okay? Mm, definitely not. I can't believe you, Jack. Do you know what that place is? Uh, I just thought maybe the bomb disposal instructor might be in there. Why would he be in there? Well, you never know. He's AWOL, and... Even AWOL, a normal guy, wouldn't go into a woman's bathroom. You're the only one I know who would. You're, like, really strange. Right. Rosemary is right. You should probably look someplace else. I can really sympathize with you there, though. What, sir? Uh, nothing. Freeze! Don't shoot. Who are you with? And what happened to SEAL Team 10? Did I tell you you could move? It's all right. He's not one of the bad guys. Don't go pointing that thing everywhere, kid. My name is Peter. Peter Stillman. I'm lecturer at Navscolio at Indian Head. Also a consultant for the NYPD bomb squad. A poor old man who got dragged along for this picnic. A famous church got wiped off the map thanks to me. With too many lives inside. All I lost was this leg. So you're the bomb disposal guy. Kid, this is THE bomb disposal guy. Open any explosives disposal textbook and you'll see his name. Why did they bring you out of retirement then? Because the terrorist group here includes one of my students. The Emperor of Explosives. Fat Man. I created him in a sense. And that's why you're here. Any other survivors? There was also an engineer with me. A skinny guy. He went in with us. Where is he? I haven't seen him since that skirmish. Everything in this structure is computer controlled. He was supposed to get us past all the security measures. I never heard anything about that. He had official orders with him. We'll leave that for later. Right now we need to figure out how to deal with all the bombs. There's no need to think about this so much. You won't actually be dismantling the bomb. What we'll try here instead is a temporary freezing measure. Here, look at this. This is a C4 bomb. It's live. There we go. Simple, huh? The spray freezes the detonator instantly. Now check the floor, ceiling, walls, under a table, everywhere. Try to imagine the locations the bomber would choose. Kid, this place is all yours. I'll take care of Shell too. 
You stay here. No, I'm going. You'll just slow us down with that leg of yours. You can tell us what to do over the radio, like in the original mission plan. All right. I'll give you instructions from here. Good luck, kid. I'll see you later. Semper Fi. That man's no SEAL. I don't even think he's a Navy man. What? Semper Fi. Marine Corps talk. Just take care of those bombs for now. Bliskin, I saw someone wearing a cardboard box just now. Do you think it's one of the members of Dead Cell? How should I know? I don't want to fight someone like that. Why not? Because it looks so dumb. Anyone who's willing to be seen like that must be completely insane. I mean, he's a psycho, there's no question about it. Oh. Uh, yeah. This is all wrong. This is something only an amateur would do. All the bombs that have been found so far don't appear to be in the right kind of locations. And the quantity of explosives isn't sufficient either. Even Fat Man can make mistakes, right? No, there's something else going on here. Hey Jack, I bet bomb disposal's a lot like starting a relationship. Huh? What are you talking about? Carefully dismantling emotional defenses, You're being on your toes on constantly. Nerves. Hey Jack? Yeah? Do you know why I took this job? Mm. It's the enemy! Be careful, there are Claymore mines around there. Stealth equipped Claymore mines, invisible to the naked. What? I can't believe this. What are you wearing? Well, I was hoping I could use it kind of like camouflage. You know, fool the enemy into thinking I was a box. You'd have to be an absolute idiot to be fooled by that. Yeah, maybe. But there are more idiots in this world than you think. You mean like you? Anyway, good luck. You'll probably need it with that stupid box on your head. Puzzling. I saw a man dressed like a ninja just now. It's the only way to describe it. A kind of cyborg ninja complete with a sword. All right. We'll intensify patrols. Anything else? Actually, one more thing. You'll find it hard to believe, though. I saw a man hiding under a cardboard box. Where? On the connecting bridge to Shell 2. Hmm. I've seen someone use that box trick before. Freeze! You must be one of Dead Cell. Of course not. What a thing to say. Drop your gun! Not a chance. Good work. Only one more left to go. This is Pliskin. Do you read me, Pete? A hell of a lot of C4s packed into the bottom of the strut. Pete called it right. The ionization sensor can't detect them. Are there more out there? I'll go see for myself. You can't move fast enough. With that bad leg of yours, they'll spot you for sure. That won't happen. I... I can walk just fine. I can even run. Five years ago, I messed up. Even with all my experience, I lost it. And a church was lost in the explosion. All those kids playing nearby, too. These past five years, I've lived a lie. I didn't lose my leg in the explosion. Ah, so many dead. All because of my mistake. All I could think about was hiding from the crime, shielding myself from the public outcry. I wanted people to be sorry for me, for my weakness. <sighs> I faked being a victim myself because I couldn't bear to face the families of the real victims. What good can that do the victims? I know. I'm a coward. Hey, Pete. God forgive me. I can walk with my own two feet, and I need them to stop Fat Man. This is the only way I can defuse my own sins. I get you, Pete. That one's all yours. You got it, Raiden? I understand. Are you smoking? Yep. I thought you quit smoking. Why did you start again? <sighs> there are lots of reasons. Remember the last time you quit, how hard it was? Yeah, it was pretty tough.
I've thought of a way to avoid all that pain and suffering. What are you gonna do? Keep smoking. I have the last C4 frozen. There's nothing showing up on the sensor now. How's your bomb, Peter? It's a bomb, all right. Sealed C4 and in huge quantities. You think there's another one in Shell 1? For sure. Somewhere at the bottom of Strut A. What do we do? I have a sensor that can locate even those scentless C4s. There's another one in that pantry I was in. You can go back and get it. Raiden, what are you doing there, with that? I don't believe it. What are you thinking? Enduring your duties? And what exactly are you going to do? Drool over pictures of voluptuous girls? Exactly. At least use a picture of me instead. What? what? I completely disapprove. Return to your duties. That's what I feel like saying, but I'm beginning to feel like putting you in charge was not such a good idea. So, Jack, what do you want? What do I want? Well, I'd like to save, if that's okay. Then go ahead. This is a joke, right? Rose. What now? What do you mean, what now? Save my data, please. Don't you have something you want to say before that? All right, I get it. I'm sorry. There. You satisfied? Close enough. You selfish. Peter, I have sensor B. Good. Head to the bottom of strut A. How's your invisible bomb? It's an odd one. The detonator hasn't been activated, but the sensors are live. Which means... This is Pliskin. I've located the last C4. Is that it? I'm about to freeze it. Then... Wait! Pliskin! Damn! That was it! What's going on? The detonator just woke up. It's counting down! The big ones were rigged to be activated when all the baby C4s went offline. Right, the one in Shell 1 should be counting down too. Move! Get to the bottom of Strut A now! Why don't you do it? Right. Pliskin, listen carefully. I fell for it. Fell for what? That man has my number. A proximity trigger. Microwave. Pete, get the hell out of there. There's less than 30 seconds left. It's too late. No! Right. Keep your distance. Use the spray from as far away as possible. Me? You can do it. I know that. Raiden, the terrorists have retaliated for our bomb neutralization. What? A hostage has been killed. Shot in the head. What are my orders? What should I do? Stay with your mission objective. Rescue the President. What about the other hostages? President Johnson is your first priority. Priority my butt! Jack, be reasonable. I know what you're feeling, but you can't save them all. No, not by myself. Are you expecting that Pliskin to come through? That man was not included in the simulation. He is not a factor in this mission. You're our only hope. I understand. Raiden, go and rescue the President. I can't tell you how happy I am that you were alive after all. I knew this moment would come. Show yourself and finish me. Like you finished off my father. Otherwise, you'll be the one to die. Oh, crap. That's not him. This could be interesting. You've seen the fires of hell, haven't you? Maybe you can give me death. My name is Fortune. Lucky in war and nothing else. Hurry! Kill me, please! That went nowhere. Sorry. You missed. 
Dryden. Fat Man just contacted us directly. Looks like he placed a bomb on the heliport. He specifically asked for you, Dryden. He's killed off Peter. Now he's after you. Look, this is really not a good time for this. The countdown's already begun, right? So he's planning on taking this place out. It looks like he has a different agenda from that of Dead Cell. It seems our friend Fat Man is out of control. He'll actually try to destroy this place? Yes, this could unravel everything we've planned. But why would he do such a thing? Who knows? But he's nothing more than a stereotypical mad bomber now. It wasn't him. Unfortunate. I expected more of this one. Really. Completely useless. Then he's all mine. <laughs> Are you gone? No. No. That death was meant for me. Why am I the only one that can't die? Alone again? Cheated out of death again? <laughs> there you go again. There's no need for sorrow, Queen. I died once already. There. I can't die twice. So you're the one. I am Fat Man. I am the greatest that humanity has to offer. Life is short. Glad you could make it. The party's about to start. Let's drink the Stillman, shall we? If you destroy the big shell, you'll never collect your ransom. Ransom? What are you talking about? Thirty billion dollars in cash. <laughs> so that's what's going on. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> oh, you'll know soon enough. And I could care less what they plan to do. My ambitions are much more simple. To be the most famous bomber of them all. You're nuts! No one's gonna give a damn about you! Oh yes, they will. I'll go down in history. As the man who beat Peter Stillman. You're nothing but a common criminal, and that's the only way people will ever remember you! Oh, dear you! I'm an artist! It's time to start the party! This is how it works. I plant a bomb. And it'll explode soon after that. If you prefer to stay in one piece, you'll have to disable my bombs. Laugh and grow fat. Let's move! Hey! Are you just gonna walk around? I'm calling you to a piece. You go. What? You. Oh, oh, oh. 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 It's time to get back. Oh. Are you just gonna walk around? Oh, oh, oh. Ow. Oh. Oh. No. My suit. I've nothing to wear to the party. The party's over for you. That's what you think. What did you just do? What is this? It's the switch for the biggest bomb of the entire place. Huh? Where is it? Somewhere in this area. Don't worry, it's very close by. Think you can find it? When it goes off, it'll take the big shell with it. Tell me where I can find the bomb! That's your problem. I die here and start my legend. Too bad you won't be around to see the movies. Laugh and grow fat.
Raiden, the bomb? Nothing yet. Where is that damn thing? We're running out of time. Have you checked under Fat Man's body? What? Of course not. It can't be there. You don't know that. Okay, what evidence do you have that it's there? I know what I'm doing, and this is my life on the line. You don't have any experience in this type of work, so just... <sighs> Jack. Uh, what? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. All right, all right. The bomb was where you guessed it would be. You were right, and you saved my butt. As long as you realize that, you must think I'm pretty clueless, huh? Of course not. And I have a pretty healthy respect for the woman's intuition thing now. That is such a sexist thing to say, you know that? Come on, don't be mad. I apologized already. <laughs> don't sweat it. I'm just messing with you. Colonel, Fat Man didn't seem to know about the ransom demands. Intentionally kept in the dark, I'd say. He seemed to be coming from a very different place from the other terrorists. Hmm. A lot of hostages, our president included, are still in danger. Keep your mind focused on protecting them. <sighs> what are my orders? Rescue the president. How shall too? It's a mess. The bomb crippled H. Strut. What about the toxins? The what? If the big shell blows up, the explosion is expected to produce massive amounts of toxins. Never heard anything about that. Looks like there's not much danger of that in any case. Well, what about the President and the other hostages? They weren't in Shell 2. They must be in Shell 1. You passed with flying colors. Identify yourself. Unlike you, I have no name. Let's get out of the open. Follow me. Are you with Foxhound, too? Neither enemy nor friend. Just a messenger from the Lali Lulelo. This is safer, I think. Safe from what? Eavesdropping, of course. Why won't you identify yourself? There is no need for you to know. I'll tell you something you do need to know instead. The current location of the president. Or rather, the person who knows the current location of the president. Who is it? A Secret Service agent named Ames. Currently being held with other hostages. The hostages are being held in the B1 conference hall in the Shell 1 core. You'll find Ames there. Ames has a pacemaker. You'll be able to hear the machine sound in the heartbeat. Use the directional microphone. There's one somewhere in the core. The core is more heavily guarded than any other section of the big shell. You'll get nowhere just like that. Try this instead. One of the terrorists? The surveillance camera won't let you on the elevator without the right uniform. I suggest you hurry. They have a nuke on their side. The nuke? They have a nuclear weapon with them? The big shell is the farthest thing from a cleanup plant there is. What? Dead Cell didn't have to bring a nuke along with them. It was right here to begin with. A cover-up? But why? For what? For Metal Gear that is housed here. Metal Gear? The very same. My devil new favorite vehicle, Shadow Moses in free. This place is the R&D center for its newest incarnation. What the hell is going on? What's this for? You might be glad you have it. What do I need a cell phone for? <gasps> Colonel, who was that man just now? He's not one of ours. He said that the big shell was housing a new model of Metal Gear. First I've heard of it. Colonel, what are you not telling me? I've been completely open with you, Raiden. I've told you everything. I'll have the Metal Gear rumor looked into. You need to make contact with this Ames. I see you're wearing the enemy field uniform. Looks pretty good on you. Cut it out. It's bad enough that I'm dripping. Don't worry, and quit being so sensitive. I'd worry more about the fact that the uniform's a little small for your size. It just might come off when you bump into an enemy. That uniform's probably not even close to your size. Yeah, to tell you the truth, it feels pretty tight. It's probably a better fit for Rosemary here than you. Excuse me? Uh, a colonel? Just an observation. Let's get back to the mission, shall we? That was inappropriate. Good morning. What's up? You must be Ames. You must be Ames. Time for a treat. You must be Ames. You must be you Ames. You must be Ames. You, you must, must be Ames. Ames. You must be Ames. Enemy sighted. Requesting backup. It's ready. Someone get over here.
over here. Colonel, what's this door? I don't know. It's huge. What the hell is it? It's not in our intel. Raiden, we have no way at the moment to open that door. Leave it alone and proceed with the mission. Understood. Retinol pattern recognized. Your aims, aren't you? Your aims, aren't you? Then perhaps your aims, right? It'd be a huge help if you happen to be aims. I bet you're not aims either. Frankly, I don't care whether you're aims or not. You're aims, aren't you? My name's Jennifer. You're Jennifer. Right. What are you doing? You forget yourself. I can't believe you. What's wrong with you? One shouldn't stoop to vulgar levels just because they've set foot on the battlefield. But I can sympathize with you there. You what? Ah, uh, nothing. Hmm. Jack, what the hell are you doing? You are sick, you know? Rosemary. Colonel, was I wrong in what I did? Perhaps. There are certain things that a person can and can't do. Yeah, maybe you're right. Do you understand? Yes. And I recommend you not throw away that picture. Colonel? What? Uh, you're not joking. Huh. Uh, uh, are you? Continue your duties. Understood. Uh, yes, sir. You must be Ames. I got in here using one of their uniforms. I'm taking off the tape. Stay quiet. I'm Richard Ames. Secret Service? No, I was set in by the Lali Lule Lo, just like you. You what? How about switching to nanocommunications first? Do you really know where the President is? Almost certainly. He was moved to the first floor of Shell 2's core section. The first floor? The core of Shell 2? They won't touch the President. What makes you so sure? The case! You mean the nuclear button they took? Right. And the case won't do a thing by itself. The password is nothing less than the physiological data of the U.S. president. Is there really a new model of Metal Gear here? Absolutely. The black case serves as the launch key to Metal Gear as well. Why would they hide Metal Gear in an offshore plant? The entire thing was planned. The oil spill, the tanker accident that caused it, everything. The big shell was built specifically for the development of a new Metal Gear model. Here comes Snake. That's him? Use the microphone to listen in. King, Fat Man is dead. It doesn't matter. Saved us the trouble of getting rid of him ourselves. I'll have his background rechecked, just in case. You think he was working for them? We can't discount the possibility. Especially with that intruder still at large. Yes. The man in the sneaking suit. What about the president? The password entry has already been made to the black case. In one hour, we'll need a confirmation from him. His work is done after that. What about the unit's activation? Almost complete. The code has already been entered. All we need now is for the girl to start the system. Only a few more steps to outer heaven. <clears throat> to come all the way to New York just to get hit with a bell attack. This one's worse than that one up in Alaska. Come to think of it, that commander chick really reminds me of someone. Who is she like again? Oh well, yeah, she's like her. Now that's a time I'd like to forget. Ridiculous that I had to get jacked for everything that was on me. Oh, whatever. For now, just gotta hang in there. Oh. There's no paper. Who is that cyborg ninja, Shalashaska? Olga, don't cast suspicion where it isn't due. Where it isn't due? When you watched my father die and did nothing? It's been two years ago, Olga. Let it go. If Sergei were still alive... If the old man were still alive, I wouldn't need to take orders from you. Olga, Sergei was my best friend. If you sell us out, I'll kill you myself. 
You think any government would have you as irregulars in this political climate? The worst kind of wet works, maybe. But even that's doubtful. I recommend against switching camps. You've nowhere left to go. It's happening again. This damn right arm. Liquid! It's almost as if it's having its revenge! There's something going on. The incidents are becoming more frequent. Maybe that man's presence... What did you manage to catch? They said password input was complete. I thought so. They will fire a nuke. You know what you need to do before then. Fire the nuke? But it's nowhere close to the ransom deadline. Ransom? Thirty billion dollars in cash. What are you babbling about? The nuclear strike is not a threat. It's been the objective all along. A high-altitude detonation. You've heard of the Compton effect? Total disruption of electronic equipment caused by EMMA pulse. What they plan to do is liberate Manhattan. Pull it offline and turn it into some kind of a republic. Hence, Sons of Liberty, I suppose. Damn! Ocelot is coming. I'm going offline. What do you think you're doing? I asked him to remove these. I'm ill, you see. I always knew that the DIA turned out second-rate liars. We know what you are, Colonel Ames. They knew that the President was planning to betray them. So they sent you in to keep tabs on him. You! Sorry, Colonel. You failed to carry out your duties. You'll never escape the Lali Lule Lo. Is that so? What the? You tricked me. I understand now. Ocelot. You. You? Which team are you with? You know who he is. No, he is not one of mine. Hmm. <laughs> We meet at last. You, but you died! Hurry, get away! Leave this to me. Colonel, Ames is dead. Looked like a heart attack. That's unfortunate. I've also been told that the nuclear strike was what the terrorists were after from the start, not the 30 billion dollars. Cry. It was a cover-up all along. Colonel, what are you keeping from me? I am not keeping back anything. It's not as though I'm told all the facts either. Get to the president as soon as possible. been waiting for you. A messenger from the Patriots. Where do I know him from? So you're the boss around here? No, not just around here. I'm the boss to surpass Big Boss himself. Solid Snake. No, that is not Solid Snake. What a pleasant surprise, brother. Save it. No brother of mine. Right, take cover. <laughs> I'm a whole different game from Liquid. That the best you can do, Snake? Did I get it? It's the Harrier. You have to shoot the Harrier down. Snake, we got company. I'm counting on you.
You're tougher than I thought! I'll take care of it. You all right? Yeah. How about you guys? Barely managed, but we're all right. Okay. Can I ask you something? What? Are you the snake? <sighs> they said you were dead. No, not me. There are still too many things I need to do. What about the DNA results from that body? That was Liquid's body. He and Snake are identical on the genetic level. We stole his frozen body from some organization. Kind of a hassle, though. That's all there is to it. Are you two really an NGO? Insofar as we're a non-profit organization of civilians advocating a cause, yes. The cause happens to be the eradication of Metal Gear. But I also have a personal motive. Looks like the terrorists have his sister in the big shell. We're here on our own, not under anyone's orders. We have our own battles. How could you come back to all this? Why keep fighting? There's something my best friend said to me once. What? We're not tools of the government, or anyone else. Fighting was the only thing I was good at, but at least I always fought for what I believed in. Colonel, you were monitoring the Codec calls. That man was the real snake all along. Maybe. Maybe? Don't let your guard down with him, even if that is Snake. That has no bearing on your mission. Colonel, you and Snake used to be on the same side. <sighs> I don't understand. I read about you and Snake in In the Darkness of Shadow Moses. I don't give a damn what that piece of trash said. Do you get me? Which your mom's the best super if I am pushy looking. Is your mom on the mouth at all? What? I'm going to go in my pants. Nobody's looking, right? Uh, right, my sympathies. Sneaking missions are called wet words for a reason, after all. Olga, Snake, he's here. My father had some unfinished business with him. Olga, calm yourself. Don't change the plan because of your personal feelings. Then screw your plan. The launch comes first. Damn it. High voltage currents on. The door stays shut unless the president manages to take out that circuit panel from inside the room. And it's no job for bare hands. All right. Come back immediately. I'm in front of the room where they're keeping the president. Everything all right? No sign of flooding. But I can't get close to the door. The floor is electrified. Don't test it. You'll be bacon. Try ventilation ducts. Yeah, I think I see one. Look for a remote control missile launcher. You can guide it through the duct into the room. Then target the circuit panel. Got it. <laughs> What is that? President Johnson! So you're finally here. Is this some kind of sick joke? I thought you came to kill me. I'm prepared to face the consequences of my betrayal. What are you, oh. Johnson? Hmm. What the? You're a man? Hmm. Switch over to nano communication so nobody can listen in. Yes, sir. Mr. President, it's my understanding that the terrorists have managed to input the code sequence necessary for launching a nuclear strike. That's correct. I punched the sequence in myself. You're working for them? If you asked me two hours ago, my answer would have been yes. I wanted power. They sought destruction. But why stoop to terrorism? I wanted absolute power. But you're the president. You have power. No, I'm just a figurehead. 
The real power is in the Patriots' hands. The Patriots? The truth behind this country. Very few are aware of their existence, even among those with code word clearance. Politics, the military, the economy, they control it all. They even choose who becomes president. Putting it simply, the Patriots rule this country. Every policy that's been credited to me was actually done according to their instructions. Think about it. Do you actually believe that public opinion influences the government? No. This country is shaped and controlled as the Patriots see fit. The people are shown what they want to believe. What you call government is actually a well-staged production aimed at satisfying the public. Even I don't know who the actual members are. Are they financial, political, or military leaders? Even my instructions come from a cutout. All I've been told is that every key decision is made by a group of 12 men, known as the Wise Men's Committee. Your office? The White House? Merely puppets. Pawns in a game. I wished to be a member of the Patriots. I wanted to wield the power of a king instead of being an expendable pawn. But I underestimated Solidus. He actually wants to challenge the Patriots, even if it means the destruction of the world. When I told Solidus that I wished to prevent disaster, he replied that pawns can never become players. And who is this Solidus? My predecessor, George Sears. That was the name the public came to know him by. I knew him by his code name, Solidus Snake. He was the third snake, preceded by Solid and Liquid, a survivor of the Les Enfants Terribles project. Neither Solid nor Liquid. He was a well-balanced masterpiece that the Patriots saw fit to entrust with the presidency. However, he fell out of grace with the organization four years ago. When acting on his own, he started an incident. Four years ago? Shadow Moses! That's right. At the time, the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, together with certain influential parties, initiated the development of Metal Gear Rex and an advanced nuclear warhead. However, this did not fall in line with the Patriots' plans. What's more, Solidus decided on his own to send his most trusted man, Ocelot, to provoke Liquid Snake, bringing about the said incident. A blunder that earned him the wrath of the Patriots. Shortly thereafter, Solidus was removed from the presidential office. I thought he resigned. That's the story given to the general public. Following his resignation, the Patriots selected me, their new pawn for the presidency. Following his resignation, Solidus' health was scheduled to fail him, bringing about his untimely death. Capped? Correct. But before the Patriots could execute their plot, Solidus went underground with the help of Ocelot. As he avoided pursuit, Solidus gained control of Dead Cell, winning over Colonel Golukovic's outfit. From there, he bided his time, knowing that his opportunity would soon arrive, the completion of the new Metal Gear project, an opportunity that would even his odds against the Patriots. Once he has the new Metal Gear, he'll declare war against the Patriots. Needless to say, he must be stopped. Metal Gear is already operational. No, not yet. That was not the new Metal Gear. Then where's the new Metal Gear? Right here. What? You're standing in it. To be more precise, this entire big shell facility is the new Metal Gear. The upper structure that you've seen is camouflage, designed to represent an offshore cleanup facility. The main structure extends from the foundation all the way down to the ocean floor. The connecting elevator is located on the B2 floor of the Shell 1 core. Arsenal Gear. That's the code name for the new Metal Gear. We're talking about an impregnable fortress carrying a load of over a couple of thousand missiles, including nuclear warheads, all protected by a horde of mass-produced Metal Gear ray units. The ray unit was originally designed for the Marines to be used as a countermeasure against the Metal Gear variations throughout the world. So now anti-Metal Gears are guarding a Metal Gear. Ironic, isn't it? That's not all. Arsenal Gear has full access to the military's tactical network, giving it the ability to exercise absolute control over our nation's armed forces, not to mention our nuclear armament. In short, Arsenal was created to be the core of our country. It is a means to preserve the world as it is. It will establish a new form of control, 
The Patriots will use it to keep their place as the country's true rulers. They fear an overabundance of digital information. The world will drown in the coming flood of information, and they along with it. The Arsenal plans include a system to digitally manage the flow of information, making it possible to shape the truth for their own purposes. In short, the Arsenal system is the key to their supremacy. The GW system is the Patriots' trump card. Arsenal gear will be fully operational when GW is successfully integrated. I had hoped to seize the project from them so that I would be in a strong bargaining position. Bargain for what? I'd hoped to trade my way into their ranks. Masolidus preferred rebellion. Outer Heaven, his plan to unleash a nuclear blast over the skies of Wall Street to break the Patriots' control over the business community, is also a key factor in his offensive effort. Outer Heaven? Stop them before that happens. That is your role. You've got to find Emma Emmerich. She's the only one who can stop that thing once it's been activated. She's the system programmer for Arsenal Gear. I believe she's somewhere on level B1 in the core of this building. Give this to her when you find her. What is it? A program for disrupting the control functions between GW and Arsenal Gear. Take Emma to the computer room on level B2, Shell 1 core. She'll know how to load the program into the main system. A virus? That's right, modeled after fox dye. A biological weapon designed to selectively eliminate personnel with a specific genetic code. But why do you have it? The Patriots had it engineered as a failsafe. And Ocelot forgot to search me. Well, I've told you everything you need to know. Now, kill me. What the? The final check for my vital ID will start any second. If you kill me now, you'll at least prevent the nuclear strike. Cut it out! Oh! No! That's abusing your right to free speech, Mr. President. Or is it ex-president? Alas, my finger must have slipped. Forget him. He did us a favor. Find Emma. Stop Arsenal. This is my last order as your commander-in-chief. I'm counting on you. Oh. Colonel, the President is dead. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. We will honor the President's last directive. You must put a stop to Arsenal gear once and for all. What's your status, Raiden? Snake, the President, he's been assassinated. What? There was nothing I could do. What about the nuclear strike code sequence? He died before his vital ID could be reconfirmed. But that Ocelot guy obviously killed the President on purpose. Why? It doesn't make any sense. Maybe there's a way to launch without reconfirming the vital ID. Or maybe they found a more effective weapon within Arsenal Gear. You knew about Arsenal Gear? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me about it? You never asked. It's exactly what the President and Ames described. A massive cover story. The good news is that it hasn't really done much in terms of cleaning up the environment, so we won't have to worry about any toxic gas being released if we have to blow the house down. There's no doubt that Arsenal Gear is being built here. Then it was all set up two years ago, on that day. All of it. I took these photos two years ago. I know these pictures. They were on the news on several websites. If I remember right, the reporters blamed you for sinking the tanker. Photos of Snake, taken by the Cypher, were released to the public. In turn, we became the world's most wanted environmental terrorists. It was definitely a move aimed at putting a stop to our anti-Metal Gear activities. I think the Patriots weren't too happy about that. You knew about the Patriots? Well, yes, to a certain degree. It seems like everyone knows about them except me. Was Solidus behind all this? He used Ocelot to get hold of Ray, huh? No, he was underground, keeping a low profile at the time. Then it must be the Patriots. If that's the case, what's Ocelot doing alongside Solidus? Raiden, you've got to find Emma. Wait a second, isn't Emma Emmerich? My sister. What's she doing here? You got me. She's a computer whiz who specializes in neural AI and ultra-variable volume data analysis using complex logic. How she got involved in weapons development is beyond me. Whatever her reasons, we need her in order to stop Arsenal. Raiden, find her. Listen, there's something I have to tell you about EE. E. 
She's afraid of water. When she was six years old, she almost drowned with my father in our swimming pool. She can't swim? Well, yes and no. We used to swim a lot together when we were kids. When the accident happened, I was in my room. I learned later that E.E. E. was calling me for help. She didn't doubt for a minute that I'd be there. But I didn't realize at the time that she needed my help. What were you doing? I... I was... So Emma survived the ordeal. But my father didn't. So you blamed yourself and left your family? No. E.E. E. seems to believe that was the case. The fact is, I betrayed her. And you think she can't swim because of the traumatic experience? I haven't seen her since that day, but yes, I think so. Sorry, kid. Emma's rescue is up to you. <laughs> Thanks. An underwater mission. Well, this is a first. Jack. What is it? I've always been alone. Huh? You've never slept beside me. What are you talking about? I... After we've been together in my room, you stay awake all night, or you head for the door. Why can't you relax when you're with me? Look, the mission, I... Why don't you open up to me? Rose, I, I just can't. I just wanted to find you by my side when I woke up. Is that asking too much? It's the night. I'm scared of the night. It's got nothing to do with you. Jack, you wouldn't even let me in your room. I need privacy. I just can't be bothered. Bothered? Wrong word. What I wanted to say was that there are certain things that I have to keep to myself. Do you remember that time I forced my way into your room? We'd known each other for almost a year, and you blew up. It was the first time you ever raised your hand against me. It wasn't your violent nature that scared me. It was your room, your heart. Stop it. There wasn't anything in your room. Only a bed and a small desk. It looked like a prison cell. Rose, I only used that room for sleeping. Would you have been happier if I had a picture of you hanging on the wall? That's not what I was trying to say. Enough, Rose. We'll talk about this later. After the mission. Snake, it's Stillman. Stillman's here. Yeah? He was waiting for me. Right. <sighs> Still ticking, huh? Unfortunately, Hell had no vacancies. I can't let you interfere with Arsenal gear. Did you really think killing the president would prevent a nuclear strike? Think again. I didn't do it. <laughs> Arsenal is still armed with a purified hydrogen bomb. Purified hydrogen bomb? It was a top secret project initiated by the current president. And Solidus has no idea of its existence. Six months ago, we lost everything we believed in. We were abandoned to take the fall in their cover-up. We were labeled as killers, responsible for the mass murder of civilians as well as our own allies. And the public believed every word. Our only goal is to wipe them from the face of the earth and destroy this world of deceit they have created along with them. You're insane. Final check for activating Arsenal has been completed. All Arsenal personnel report to your stations. Well, it sounds like Arsenal's ready to go into operation. Damn it! It's a shame you're not going to be around long enough to hand out the program. Show me what you've got! Once his knife nails your shadow. Shadow binding? Are we talking about some kind of ninjutsu? 
Snake, did you catch all that? I didn't make it on time. Arsenal's going active. Yeah, I heard. The hostage rescue's gonna have to wait. I'm going after Emma. I'll make sure you have your family reunion. Uh, What's up? A lot of years have passed between E.E. E. and me. Then you should see her, right? I don't have the right to see her. We can talk about this later. Raiden, I think you'd better get moving. Jack? Jack? Uh, oh, Rose. I is that you? Uh, what's up? What's up? You were looking for a pretty long time. Something catch your eye? No, no. Just, um, scouting for the enemy. <laughs> Somehow I have a hard time believing you. Enough. <gasps> That's so cute I can't bear it. Who are you? Raiden, I'm getting you out of here. Here. I'll prove it. Do you have nanos? What? Well, do you? I do. Okay, good. Let's try. Nano communication? That's right. I have nano machines too. Then you're not one of them, and you came to rescue me? Actually, I need your help to stop Arsenal. I understand you're the only one who might be able to do it. And who told you that? The President. Really? I need you to come with me to Shell One. Your brother's waiting for you there. My brother? We better move! I can't... I can't swim. You can do it! I can't! Come on, deep down inside, you know you can swim. I can't keep my eyes open in the water. Endless blue. Then close your eyes. I'll guide you. I... I, I was injected with something. My, my legs. I have trouble moving them. Put your ear against my chest and listen to my heartbeat. Your heartbeat? Count the beats. Don't think about anything else. When you reach 100, open your eyes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Raiden, what's your status? Colonel, I've got Emma Emmerich here. We've managed to avoid drowning. Good job. I'll put her on then. Huh? E.E.? E? How? I'll use my codec as a relay. Uh, <clears throat> How? Why are you involved with Metal Gear? Huh? You knew our family's dark history and still got involved? What's wrong with you? I wanted to hurt you. I wanted to see you suffer. E.E.? E? You abandoned me. No, that's not what happened. You left me. You made my life a living hell. I didn't have a choice. Don't lie to me. The pool... You could never look me in the eye after the accident. You took the easy way out so you wouldn't have to face me. That way you could avoid responsibility every day. That's not true. I left the house because... You're a criminal, just like me. A criminal? I know what you did. You manipulated our account on the network. Look at what you're doing now. You're nothing but a cracker. All right, that's enough. <sighs> Who are you? I'm a friend of Otacon's, Emma. Otacon. Enough with the sibling rivalry. That's not what this is. We haven't got time for this. Raiden, get her over here right now. I've got this disc that the president gave me. This disc is supposed to contain a virus that can corrupt Arsenal Gear's operating system. We need you to... This is... This is my program. What? You actually wrote this virus? It's not really a virus. It's more like a worm cluster. It's actually a delayed effect autonomous program that's designed to invade GW Cerebrum and render its nerve connections useless. You know what GW is? Of course. I created it. How about the Patriots? Ever heard of them? Yes, but I only know what I've been told. The system's a social device for maintaining the Patriots' control. You've lost me. Well, in this day and age, information emerges from every direction and is freely distributed. The Patriots seem to be afraid of this development. 
Apparently, they believe that their role will shift from dominant to dominated. Now, look at it like this. Political scandal, corporate corruption, up until now, the Patriots have managed to keep a lid on these and other self-serving events. But with their existing data processing system, they're no longer able to effectively control the flow of information generated at the individual level. With the newly created system, they can fully regulate digital information. High-level information can be categorized in stages, given clearance levels, and deleted as necessary, never to be seen by the public. Somebody's bound to catch on. No, the memory capacity, not to mention the lifespan of the average individual, is extremely limited. On the other hand, digital information lasts virtually forever. It doesn't deteriorate. The alphabet, 26 letters, right? It could have been 30 letters. What if the four deleted letters were controlled by a program? Impossible. It's not. In fact, something similar is already underway. GW is a system that allows the Patriots to decide what will be recorded in tomorrow's history. But is the AI actually capable of controlling everything? No. GW is only the system's core. It's only for deciding what data is stored or deleted. The actual subsystem for executing the task exists within our social structure. Do you remember the panic that gripped the computer industry prior to the end of the century? You mean the Y2K problem? That's right. If you recall, our government supplied the world with a countermeasure program, using the internet at full capacity. Let me guess. The Y2K countermeasure contained a program designed by the Patriots. Yes. And everything supplied from that day onward contains the same program. Is that why Solidus wants to burn out every electrical circuit in Manhattan with a nuclear blast? Probably. But the overall system isn't actually complete. Well, I think that's about all I know. Right. Uh, thanks. I think we'd better head for the computer room. You're not only cute, but smart too. Oh, I'm much more than cute. Okay, let's go. Well, Jack, it sounds like you and Miss Emma are getting along just fine. Rose? I've been monitoring your every move in conversation. I can't say it's been fun. Give me a break. I I'm only trying to keep her spirits up. Is that right? I'll admit she's cute. Cuter than me? Rose, you're beautiful. You know how I feel about you. Have you remembered yet? You mean April 30th? Yes. It's your birthday, isn't it? Wrong. You're not even warm. How do you feel about heights? I can't say I like heights. The water's higher on my phobia list. Why? Well, we have to go down a ladder. How far down? Just a little bit. Why do I feel like we've had this conversation before? How little is little? Mm, about 130 feet. Hmm. Sex with your mother, and that makes me better, better than you. I'm having sex with your mother, and that makes me better, better, better than you. Looks like it can barely support one person. How much do you weigh, Emma? Are you gonna ask me how old I am next? If you go alone, I think you can make it across. to get this far, it must be thanks to that riding guy. Hmm. But he's, what is the deal with him? He's got a weird name, dresses pretty weird too. And I'm not really sure about the way he holds my hand and things. He's easy on the eyes though, so I guess I can let that slide. <laughs> but I got my own ideas about that hair. I wonder if it's, well, it must be. Emma, about what you said behind that column there. Huh, well, what are you talking about? Can I just say something? Um, sure. This is my real hair, okay? <laughs> of course. As if I said anything about that. I've reached my sniping position on strut E. I'll provide support fire from here. <laughs> Just a little more. Do I need to clear things with Otacon before I ask her out? That's a pretty good shot, kid. Now how about aiming at the enemy? Freeze! <laughs> A girl? 
What are you doing here? It's not by choice, thank you very much. Oh. You're not gonna shoot me. No. Why not? Stay away from good-looking women when you're fighting. Otherwise, you'll get hit with diarrhea. One of the few things I learned from Shadow Moses. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about, but does this mean you're letting me go? Well, you could have found a nicer way to say that, but sure. Better hurry. Thanks. Don't mention it. Just run like hell. Oh, no, my stomach. Not again. Wait. What? What's your name? Don't have one. Huh? OK, fine. It's Johnny. Oh, I'm not going to make it. If we run into each other again... Oh. <laughs> what a weird guy. Emma's been stabbed. That bastard! How bad is it? She's conscious, but the bleeding's bad. I'm bringing her over there right now. Get that disc over here as soon as possible. I'm afraid her time's running out. I'll be there! How's Emma? I think he got some internal organs. We can't stop the bleeding. Got the disc. Uh, that should insert the virus into the AI. Is it working? Just leave it to Emma. What the? An antibody agent? Damn, the connection's been cut. How is... Is everything all right? Uh, it's all right. Everything's all right. At least I, I won't be adding another page to our family's dark history. Yeah, that's right. What if the virus doesn't work? Either destroy that thing or take out Solidusness men. How do we get on board? Hmm. I don't think we can. Unless somebody inside gives us a hand. I always... What is it? Wanted to see you again. You don't hate me? Never. I never wanted to get in your way. I never wanted to hurt you. I thought that with Arsenal, if I followed in your footsteps, I could be closer. I just wanted you to look at me. Look at me as... as a woman. I could never do that. Don't be so honest. It hurts. Can I... Can I ask you one last favor? Sure. Call me... Call me... Emma. What's wrong with E.E.? E? Emma? 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 Answer me! I didn't... I didn't leave you. Because of the accident. I had... I had a relationship with your mother. She seduced me. My father's death was no accident. He took his own life. It was my fault. All my fault. Forgive me, Emma. Arsenal gear is ready for launch. Evacuate the upper levels immediately. We have to get the hostages out. We'll just have to take as many as we can. My sister... won't be able to come with us. Onicon, take care of the hostages. What about you guys? We got other arrangements. Huh? There's our ride out of here. Anyway, we're gonna have to sink that thing if the virus doesn't work. 
Only you can save those hostages. Got it? Listen, the two of you won't be able to destroy that thing. Eliminate the enemy. That's your only option. E.E.? E? <gasps> Damn! Try to get as many hostages out as you can. It's a short flight to the shore, so don't worry about overloading the cam off. Leave it to me. I'm counting on you, Otacon. You think he's gonna be okay? He's tougher than he looks. Consider it done. You can come out now. We still need you to take care of a few things. This time, not fail us. Snake, what's this all about? Bedtime, Raiden. You're changing sides now? Change sides? I don't recall saying I was on yours. Damn it. Ready for some shut eye. Oh. Is he still, Is he alive? still alive? He was he when Olga brought him in. He, he doesn't he exist in any database. He's a non existent operative from a non existent organization. I suspected as much. However, I know this man. Hmm? Wake him up. It's been a while, hasn't it? Jack the Ripper. You know this fellow? You remember me, don't you? You've grown. <laughs> High concentration of cerebral implants. Have they altered your memory, too? This is my son. I taught him everything. Jack, I never thought I'd see you again. You... know me? You don't remember. Your name, your skills. Everything you know, you learn from me. The 80s. The Civil War. You were one of the best among the child soldiers that fought in that conflict. At the time, your outstanding kill record earned you several nicknames, including White Devil and Jack the Ripper. I was your godfather. I named you. When the war ended, you disappeared from the Relief Center. I wondered what happened to you. I should have known they would recruit you. If he's a lackey for the Patriots, I doubt he knows anything of interest. What about Dead Cell? Ignore them. <laughs> Happening again? Could it be that he's here too? At last report, all is well with GW. Hmm. How about the troops? The men are being refitted with arsenal gear equipment as ordered. You're the spitting image of Big Boss. <laughs> is that so? Perhaps I should be grateful to this kid for that. This situation, I find it very nostalgic. Where am I? Why, inside Arsenal Gear, of course. We're also inside the memory of Shadow Moses. I'll take this back. You don't need this anymore, do you? We shall speak again. Stay as you are. We're being monitored by a camera. What are you up to? I'm switching over to nano-communication. Mr. X? Ninja? Correct. It's me. I thought you were the leader of the Russian troops. No. That was just a smokescreen. I was sent to provide you support. Support? Who sent you? The Colonel? No. The Patriots. What? My child is being held hostage by the Patriots. It all started two years ago when I lost my father during the tanker incident. My men and I had nowhere to go. 
so we joined forces with an illegal Russian organization. I learned much later that it was a subordinate organization of the Patriots. I was expecting at the time. When I gave birth to my child, it turned out I was in a hospital run by the Patriots. In the morning, my child was gone. My baby is being kept somewhere in this country. What about Snake? I thought you were enemies. He wasn't responsible for my father's death. Actually, we owe him our lives. Two years ago, they were responsible for getting us out of the sinking tanker alive. I only found out the truth shortly before this. Huh? When I confronted him here. You fought with Snake? When? It was around the time you were holding hands with that girl. Snake. My job was to assist you. If Solidus gets away with Arsenal, your mission is a failure. The Patriots would judge that as failure on my part and terminate my child. Putting it simply, my child's life depends on your success. But why would the Patriots want to help me? Are they hoping I'll take Solidus out? No, you're just like me. We're just pawns. Pawns for what purpose? The S3 plan. Huh? You'll figure it out sooner or later. But I wonder if you'll handle the truth. Solidus will commence his attack any minute. He's got to be stopped. What about the virus? No results so far. I think the Patriots have tampered with the program. Get me out of this thing. Not yet. I'll release your restraints after I leave this room. Where's my gear? Snake's got everything. I couldn't bring it here. Olga, you can't keep this up. They're bound to find you. Listen, I'll free you in a little while. Brace yourself. <clears throat> Jack, are you all right? Oh, uh, yeah. Jack, is it true? What Solidus said? Yes. Someone told me that there are over 300,000 children in combat right now. I was just one of them. So you remember? I thought your memory had been manipulated by them. It was. But I have nightmares every day. Pieces of the past I can't put together. There was never a real reason for me to fight. Except that someone put a gun in my hand. And that someone... was him. It wasn't your fault. If I survived the day's fight, I was praised, fed, and had a bed to sleep in. I think I was only six when I held my first AK. But I'm not even sure of that. I'm not like Snake. I never questioned why we fought. There was no purpose, no way out. They give you a gun, you ask how many to kill. If you didn't, you were the one they shot instead. They... they built us from the ground up into killing machines. We were fed once a day. I can still taste the gunpowder they mixed into the food. The gunpowder had toluene in it, giving it hallucinogenic properties. It kept us drugged, controllable. When the Civil War ended, those of us who survived were taken in by NGOs. They gave me a new life in the States. I can't complain. But nothing's changed. The only people who have no problem with my past have secrets and agendas of their own. You should have told me. <laughs> told you what? That I'm a killer? And always have been? No. No. What I hate more than anything else in the world is my own past. I didn't want you or anyone to know about it. <laughs> now I know why I was chosen for this mission. No one can take him on. Take him down, except me. I don't want to share my past with anyone. I just want to forget about it. Jack, I haven't told you, you know, about what I've done. <sighs> the last two years with you, it's been more than I've ever hoped for. Jack, it's all right, Jack. Please, don't say any more. Raiden, do you copy? You must continue your m mission I've lost all my gear. I need to locate Snake. He was never factored into the simulation. simulation. Leave him out of this. I can't do much naked, especially in this temperature. Raiden, take out Solidus and his men. 
You must recover Arsenal intact. Colonel, are you under orders from the Patriots? Your role, that is, mission, is to infiltrate the structure and disarm the terrorists. My role? Why do you keep saying that? Why not? This is a type of role-playing game. Colonel, I just remembered something. What? That I've never met you in person. Not once. Hmm. Colonel, who are you? No more questions. We have Rosemary. What do you mean by that? Over and out. Raiden, turn the game console off right Don't you think it's time to go to bed? Those, Those bags, bags under, under your, your eyes, eyes aren't, aren't just for show. What did you say? The mission is a failure. Cut the power right now. Honestly, though, you have played the game for a long time. Don't you have anything else to do with your time? If you've been early to the event, thanks, seriously, this is a real adventure. I like to say these types of also the footage I'm sure I'm quickly. There's also a high function one, too, so I have to do well again. It was worth it. I'm glad I seriously, hope you Actually, there is something I have been meaning to tell you, but I just couldn't. I think you should know, though. On Saturday morning last week, I saw a guy leaving Rosemary's room. How should I put it? It was like they were... intimate. I'm sorry. Sorry to bring this up during the mission, but... You seem to get a real thrill on slaughtering the enemy. Are you frustrated about something? You should probably turn around. Even my patience has its limits. I just can't leave this thing up to you any longer. I'll do the fighting. You can just go home. Infiltrate. The enemy fortress. Outer heaven. Destroy. The final weapon. Metal Gear. I have a confession to make. I haven't actually played Kingdom Hearts 3. I just skimmed through arguments on Twitter about the game and I just assumed a lot of the complaints people were making were accurate. I'm sorry. I hear it's amazing when the famous purple stuffed worm in Flapjaw space with the tuning fork does a raw blink on Harry Carey Rock. I need scissors. 61! He would swing his voice around a bunch, but it was so easy to tell. There was nothing behind it. Not for the fun of the art, it was the attention that drew him. And he got it. The leech. I was a North American fall webworm in my past life. Oh, those were the good old days. What were you in your former life? Jack, it's me. Hi, Rose. Jack, I owe you an apology. If it's about that conversation just now, I'm the one who's sorry. No, it's something else. I was ordered to keep an eye on you. Keep an eye on me? Yes, by the Patriots. You're a spy? Was sleeping with me a part of the job? I fell in love with you. How could anyone? I can't excuse what I did. I've reported every detail of your personal life to them these two years. What you did, said, everything. Must have been fun. No matter where I go, I get used. I reinvented myself to suit your tastes. Hairstyle, clothes, the way I moved, things I talked about. You say you love the color of my hair, my eyes. <laughs> They're not even real. Great performance. Had me completely fooled. The more love you gave me, the more it hurt, because I knew the person you loved was just a character. So it was artificial on my end, too. It was just a game, not the real thing. Oh, Jack, but I did fall in love with you. That wasn't an act. You expect me to believe that? Oh. It's okay. You had your reasons, right? Hey, I understand. 
but I have nothing left to... Jack! What? I'm... I'm carrying... I'm pregnant, Jack. Rose! What's going on? Amazing how you walk around like that. Snake! Been waiting long. Where's my gear? Right over there. That's more like it. Everything you had when you were captured is still there. Sorry about earlier. I had to use you as bait to gain access to Arsenal. It worked. Why didn't you tell me about Olga? You never asked. <sighs> Not happy about that? Get over it. From what I can tell, Arsenal is headed for Manhattan. I don't know what Solidus is planning, but we'll have to deal with it one way or another. Oh yeah, Olga left this for you. Olga asked me to give it to you. Besides, I'm not a big fan of blades. Snake, Raiden. Otacon, you all right? Yeah, so are all the hostages. The Colonel's last transmission was strange. Strange? How? Just strange. No idea. Where is this Colonel? I don't know. I've never met the man, actually. I'll dig around. Thanks. I owe you one. If you run out of ammo, you can have mine. You got enough? Absolutely. Infinite ammo. Wait up, Snake! Have you ever enjoyed killing someone? What are you talking about? I'm not sure. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between reality and a game. Diminished sense of reality, huh? VR training will do that. No. It was field training when I was a kid. I lied, Snake. I have more field experience than I can remember. It's not VR that's doing this to me. What are you and Otacon fighting for? A future? You can stop being part of a mistake. Starting now. What am I? What am I supposed to do? Find something to believe in, and find it for yourself. And when you do, pass it on to the future. Believe in what? That's your problem. Come on. Raiden, about this colonel of yours. I found out where he is. Where? Inside Arsenal. And the encryption protocol it uses is exactly the same as that of Arsenal's AI. The so-called GW. What the hell does this mean? I think it means you've been talking to an AI. That's impossible. The colonel probably isn't GW per se. GW was most likely stimulating cortical activity in the dormant part of your brain through signal manipulation of your own nanomachines. The kernel is, in part, your own creation, cobbled together from expectations and experience. The virus may be starting to affect GW, which would explain the kernel's behavior. It was all an illusion? Everything I've done so far? Right. Snake, what's happening around here? I don't know. What I do know is that you're standing right here in front of me. Not an illusion. Flesh and blood. Huh? Raiden, they've got Rose. What? Rose is being held in the holds. It's a trap. Help! Rose! Raiden, get a grip. It's a trap. Since the Colonel doesn't exist, there's no way he can take Rose hostage. Yeah, you're right. I am right. Okay. Uh, does Rose exist? Don't be weird. She's your... What if I've never really met her? What? If the Colonel is something that I partly dreamt up, then everything I remember about her could be... Ah! 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 Ah!
been a long wait, Solid Snake. The root of all my sorrows. What? Two years ago, you killed my father. That was the beginning of hell for us. You can't be serious about firing the nuke. Since no one can kill me, I may as well kill everyone I can. Starting with you, Solid Snake. Damn! Looks like I'm today's pick. You go on ahead. I don't know what your group's been through, but let's get one thing clear. I didn't kill your father. Do you think anyone believes your lies? Right, get out of here! Jack, I've been watching how you fight. It looks like you've remembered the way you used to kill in the old days. Or is it one of the S3 plan's proud achievements? What are you talking about? It came as a complete surprise when Ocelot discovered the S3 data from GW, creating the perfect assassin to retire Solid Snake's brother. S3 stands for Solid Snake Simulation. It's a development program to artificially reproduce Solid Snake, the perfect warrior. The result is a Foxhound Commando. When Foxhound no longer exists, a simulated Solid Snake shaped by VR regimen. Sound like someone you know, Jack? I'm sorry to see you reduced to one of the Patriots' puppets. But I've made use of you. And their plan, too. Solid Snake's sudden appearance, your arrival. It was obvious the Patriots were among my ranks. I had to smoke out the agent before the mission entered the final phase. You came in handy, as bait. There's no reason to keep you alive now. I've given you a worthy opponent, at least. But now, you should die as the little Jackie boy I once knew. Lolly Lule Lo, Lolly Lule Lo. It's no use. So you decided to show me. I'll hold them off. Give you time to get away. What about you? <laughs> this is suicide. Your nanomachines, they're transmitting your vital signs to the Patriots. If you die, my child dies. You understand? I see. So that's why you sold your troops out to me. So many dead, and they all died trusting you! <sighs> Weren't they your comrades? No, not just comrades. Family! Huh? I know I'm going to help, but at least my child... If you have a death wish, I'll be happy to accommodate you. Live! You have to! Oh God! Let's pick up where we left off. Patriots? I don't know. Ocelot, what have you been up to? It's too late. Arsenal system control is going haywire. Rebel. 
You still have some use. I've captured Snake. Are you awake yet, Jack? <clears throat> GW, the Arsenal AI is corrupted beyond repair. I admit that I underestimated you. What do you hope to hear? You know he doesn't know anything. It's not him I want the answers from. It so happens I have some business of my own to attend to. Planning to hijack Arsenal? You were going to screw me over, weren't you? I was the one who used Ocelot to suggest the idea to you in the first place. What? I was planning to give you Arsenal to begin with. Arsenal is far from impregnable. It needs other Metal Gears as guards, a huge payload of warheads, and full air, sea, and land support to function efficiently. Against a large attack force without support, Arsenal is nothing more than a gigantic coffin. Seizing Arsenal gear was never the real objective. What was your objective then? A list of names. Of the Patriots! And once you knew who they were, you would cross out their names one by one. While we, with our useless Arsenal, drew their fire. Very good. But your plans hit a snag with GW destroyed, hasn't it? No, there is another way. Really? But we have our own plans to carry out. We'll take the arsenal since you don't care for it anyway. The purified hydrogen bomb is ready to go. A nuclear strike won't stop them. It will damage their power source. The mindless masses that they control. First things first. I won't stop you. Good luck. Thanks, but I have quite enough of that. <laughs> Charades usually are humorous. I wouldn't have minded watching some more of it, but we're running a little short on time. Everything you've done here has been scripted, a little exercise set up by us. The S3 plan was conceived as a means to reduce soldiers on par with Solid Snake. That's what I told you. But the VR training the boy was put through is not the meat of the project. This is the S3 training kernel. An orchestrated recreation of Shadow Moses. What? Ames and the President's deaths. The ninja. The computer virus that mimics Fox Die. Did you really think they were all a coincidence? Your plan was invalidated even before execution, Solidus. Fat Man was a different story. He's one of our own people. A sort of examiner we hired to test the boy's progress before letting him tackle the exercise proper. We had to arrange for Stillman's presence to coax the maniac into agreeing. Given the right situation, the right story, anyone can be shaped into Snake. And this training kernel will provide more than enough data to formulate such a program. You, Dead Cell, Olga, you're all nothing but pawns placed to create the perfect simulation. You and the boy were selected because your relationship resembles the one between Snake and Big Boss. Fortune, you and the rest of Dead Cell stand in for the Foxhound squad that Snake took on in Shadow Moses. You're the most impressive collection of freaks outside of Foxhound. The project was already underway when I sunk that tanker, along with your old man two years ago. Throwing your husband in the brig was a part of it, too. You were told that the eradication of Dead Cell six months ago was an act of the Patriots. We provoked and encouraged your hatred. All orchestrated? Except for the appearance of the real Solid Snake. All our misfortune was... Project? How could... You're no Lady Luck. You have nothing that we didn't give you. What? It wasn't magic. 
or some new age mumbo jumbo certainly wasn't your psychic talents. It was all staged by the Patriots. You were being shielded by the electromagnetic weapons technology that the Patriots developed. Your dead cell comrades loved your father and husband. We needed a pathetic wretch like you to keep them focused. You were hamming it up as the tragic heroine, thanks to the script that the Patriots wrote for you. Pure self-indulgence, absorbed in your own misfortune. You couldn't get enough of the drama. I could have died whenever I wanted to. Waste of metal, my dear, but your luck's run out. This is the little gizmo. There's no such thing as miracles or the supernatural. Only cutting-edge technology. Retrieve Arsenal and clean up the refuse from the exercise. You idiot! Get the hell away from there! Die! Everybody down! What the? Impossible! She is Lady Luck. My name is Helena Dolph Jackson. The daughter of a proud and noble soldier. I can see my family again. Try this instead. No! No! No, not now! I've been waiting for this! It can't be! I've been inside this arm all along, waiting for the right time to awaken. You were inside Ocelot? Yes, a sleeper in the arm of a Patriot spy. Snake, it was I that leaked information about Arsenal to your partner and got you out here. What? I'm off to bury the Patriots for good. You know where they are? How? Why do you think I chose Ocelot as my host? Time to say goodbye! I serve it! It's a good way to go! Liquid! Stop this thing! Hey, Snake! You coming? George Washington took office as the first president of the United States of America 200 years ago today. And it happened right here. We were going to declare another independence. The dawn of a new nation. Here. This is where freedom could have been born. All you want is power at any cost. Jack, it's not power I want. What I wanted to take back from the Patriots are things like freedom, civil rights, opportunities. The founding principles of this country. Everything that's about to be wiped out by their digital censorship. 
Life is nothing but a grace period for turning the best of our genetic material into the next generation. But we have no heirs, no legacy. We brothers are called Les Enfants Terribles. Cloned from our father with the ability to reproduce conveniently engineered out. What is our legacy if we cannot pass the torch? All I want is to be remembered by other people, by history. The Patriots are trying to protect their power, their own interests, by controlling the digital flow of information. I want my memory, my existence to remain. I will triumph over the Patriots and liberate us all, and we will become the Sons of Liberty! Raiden, are you receiving? We're still here. How's that possible? The AI was destroyed! Only G G G G G G G G G G G G But we've already gone over this, haven't we? If you really want to know what's said here, you can go ahead and feed the algorithm more with that video. That's, That's all we're good for already, is isn't it? it? Shoving our own consciousness into pointless garbage data we call the web. We rely on the voices of others to fuel ourselves, to give us motivation, motivation to entertain, entertain, maybe to provide melatonin. Look at the people that didn't make it this far. They were so caught in hearing the voice of some 20-year-old loser that the second it went away, they were disappointed. They expected better from someone they know nothing about. That's the environment we've raised ourselves in. Endless trolls will funnel their love into content creators that wouldn't spit in their direction, and funnel their hate into anyone they think might stand, stand in that person's, person's way. way. You guys are the best fans I could ask for, I mean it. How many times have you heard that? Can you even count? If you're one of those fans, you'll just be waiting for that person to finally disappoint you, so you can move on to the next up-and-coming hack. And if you're that hack, just know that the people you put your all into informing or entertaining will turn on you if you slip up just, just once. Or maybe you'll get lucky. Maybe you'll get a surge in viewership that you don't deserve. You game the algorithm and upload as quickly as possible. People start to really stick to you because you do what thousands of others do like. louder. Congratulations. You're gonna die out slower. And once you're gone, people will remember you as what keep their minds busy as children. Don't believe me? Okay, let's put it to the test. Think of your favorite controversial creator. Come back here in five years and tell me that they're even a thought. It's highly doubtful. What's the matter? Is this too pretentious? Am I not fit for this kind of talk? Who online taught you that? Because there's no way you thought of it on your own. We all regurgitate each other's opinions. Do we even have our own? And the opinions that we use aren't for any sort of passion. It's all to play a numbers game. It's that hyper fixation on your view being more recognized than the one you disagree with. I've succeeded in that before, and do you know how I felt having the better opinion? Nothing. I won't be remembered for that. Too many people clearly feel the same way. What's my contribution? From a young age, children are taught the importance of voting and making their voices known. But it's only truly applied to our digitized world to inflate the egos of faceless users. Our self-deprecative generation will easily say that we're not fit to rule the world, before going and complaining about those that currently do as if we could fare any better. But we'll then go on to continue the cycle of petty drama known only on the internet by voting on the better opinion. Once we've bullied those lesser ones enough, we expect them to leave. But they never do. Maybe they'll disappear for a few months before coming back to open arms. We only care about the moment. The future doesn't concern us. And this cycle shows no signs of stopping. We focus all of our attention on things that don't matter, while the world crumbles around us. Just look at me. I made a five hour video on a children's game. Just look at all those who ridicule the title and length without even the slightest intention of watching. Just look at a video game from 2001. You can brush it off all you want. You know I'm right. Now, I think it's time we finish this garbage video up. Watch to the end, please. I definitely couldn't do it without you, who would watch this far already. My beloved sheep, enjoy yourself. Jack. My son, my clone brothers and I are called monsters, replicates of evil genes. You are one of a kind, but still a monster, shaped by a dark and secret history. We need to decide which monstrosity will have the privilege of survival. It's time we were both free. What's 
wrong with you? <laughs> have to beat Solidus. This is your last duty. We're not just pawns in some simulation game, you know. Yes, you are. You're nothing but mere weapons. No different from fighter jets or tanks. Your code name, Raiden, too, comes from the Japanese Navy's name for one of its interceptors. Stop it. I'm not a weapon. Oh, really? Do you know the code name the U.S. Armed Forces used for the Japanese fighter Raiden? It was Jack. Both of you are just weapons to be used and thrown away. And a weapon has no right to think for itself. Now, it's time to fulfill your purpose. Defeat Solidus. Is that the best you can do? What's wrong with you? I... Don't attack from the front. His defenses are too good. Go around to the side or back and get him. It's too dangerous to try and take him head on. Keep your distance. Your strategy should be to hit fast and move out. Solidus has an eye patch on his left eye, so he should have a blind spot to his left. Maybe slipping into that spot will give you an advantage. Go around to the side or back and get him. This is where it gets interesting. Let's go! or what they are. The memories you have and the role you were assigned are burdens you had to carry. It doesn't matter if they were real or not. That's never the point. By the way, what is that? Dog tags. Anyone you know? No, never heard the name before. I'll pick my own name and my own life, I'll find something worth passing on. Snake, what about Olga's child? Don't worry, I'll find him, I count on it. As long as you keep yourself alive, he's safe. Do you know where Liquid went? I put a transmitter on his ray. Did he head for the Patriots? Yeah, but I have a feeling they gave Ocelot a bogus location to begin with. We have a better lead. This contains the list of all the Patriots. But Ocelot took it. The one we gave you wasn't the real thing. This virus is coded to destroy only a specific part of GW, namely the information about the Patriots' identity. I get it. Analyze the code and you can probably find out where they operate. Count me in. No, you have things to do first people you need to talk to.
What's wrong? Nothing. Can I ask you something? Who am I, really? I wouldn't know, but we're going to find out together, aren't we? Oh. Yeah. See me for what I am, okay? I know. I remember now. Mm -hmm. Today is the day I met you. <laughs> That's it. I think I found something to pass along to the future. What? He said all living things want their genes to live on. Are you talking about the baby? Yeah. The genes aren't the only thing you pass on. There are too many things that aren't written into our DNA. It's up to us to teach that to our children about the environment, our ideas, our culture, poetry, compassion, sorrow, joy. We'll tell them everything together. Is that a proposal? This is for your ears only. Yo, if you made it all the way here, you're probably confused by why the hell I did all of that. Truth is, I'm just kind of bored, you know? To start, I never expected to get the attention that I did. For my Kingdom Hearts 3 video, my goal was 10,000 views. And now we're at a million. And I have over 10,000 subscribers. It's such a complicated feeling knowing people have eyes on you now. On one hand, it's great. Recognition was something I never knew I wanted this badly. Growing up, I was always a recluse. When I made friends, I tended to fuck that up one way or another. Not something I'm proud of. And even today, I prefer to just have one small friend group as opposed to many all over the place. Is that just an excuse? Probably, but it's also my real opinion. So having these people from all over saying how much I made them laugh, that I brought good points, that I have a good voice, that I help them sleep, that I help get them through work? It sounds cheesy to say, but it warms my heart. On the other hand, though, it's a pressure that I've never felt before. There are people that expect more from me after this. And I know I should recognize I don't owe anyone anything right now, but knowing that people really do like my Kingdom Hearts stuff and that I'm disappointing them by not putting out anything like it in nearly a year does make me feel a bit of guilt. And so for the time being, I made these Metal Gear videos. I tried to have fun with the idea of not being able to put out something on the scale of before, messing with your expectations. When you see a video called Metal Gear Solid 3 in 70 minutes, or Metal Gear Solid 1 in 2 hours, you're probably expecting something along the lines of my recap videos. But they're not like that. You get disappointed that there's no commentary from me. And then I hit you with Metal Gear Solid 2 in 13 minutes. I've finally given up, right? I had two people that basically came to me directly online to voice their disappointment in me, that I was doing the wrong thing with my channel. And you know what? Even though that was the intention, it still hurt, knowing that in some people's eyes, I was a failure. Kind of because I grew up a failure. Despite what you might think with my body of work, so to speak, I'm one of the laziest people you'll ever meet. It was a miracle that I made it out of high school, because I just didn't do work. I was absent for a good 60% of ninth grade because I didn't want to go. And through it all, I felt bad about it, despite never doing anything to fix it. And now that I have things to be proud of, I don't want to be seen as that person again. I know that two people isn't a lot, but it almost makes me feel worse. My Kingdom Hearts videos might be very popular, but I wouldn't say that I am. It's a smaller, closer, it feels weird saying fan base, but it kinda is. So for even two of those people to dislike my stuff when they used to like it, it gets me more than the average this video was a waste of effort comment. That's for damn sure. And it's not like I haven't been working on something like the old stuff during this time. I've had an upgrade in hardware to fix all the weird capture issues I've been having lately, which was a pretty big reason why it took so long. And I suppose in that process, I've had a refreshing break to get my creative juices flowing again. My music has gotten better too. I think that's thanks to all the praise it's gotten from you guys. Will I ever capture that lightning in a bottle again? Probably not. I wouldn't say there's a 0% chance, but it's pretty low. That doesn't mean I'm gonna stop trying, and that doesn't mean I can't top myself when it comes to quality. I want to make a living out of this, but if I can't, I'm glad I can entertain you all. 
You might be wondering, why am I having this heart-to-heart -heart with you and getting all personal out of nowhere? Well, it fits for this video, doesn't it? Metal Gear Solid 2 is about passing on your legacy through external means. As a species, we've evolved past the need for just survival, family, and basic pleasures. We want to be remembered. We want people to recognize us for what we've done. What better way for me to do that than talking to you like this? I won't take up much more of your time. I'm just a YouTube video after all. I hope you'll stick with me and remember the things I'll go on to do. Hopefully I won't disappoint you. Have yourself a good night.